Hi, Pointy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigan Sync, and today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Undead Unluck Chapter 121. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and we ain't sponsored by Shueisha, and we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus, and we ain't sponsored by Viz, and considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> and I'm praying that this isn't my final or one of my final Undead Unluck uh, live reactions because, unfortunately, um, unless a miracle happens soon, uh, my poor kitty and I might be homeless and living on the street really soon. But, but, but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, woo! Okay, so, Billy, you're a fucking asshole and I live. Because Billy made a fucking amazing point in regards to In Ruin. Because he said to Unruin, who was saying he was basically a chosen one with Andy, uh, by God, he said, bitch, you realize that it's only Andy that's been um, coming back every cycle. You say you were a chosen one, by, chosen one by God? Bitch, please. If you were a chosen one by God, then you would be um, in every cycle with Andy. So, seems to me you were reject. And that was like, what? And Ro was like, oh, he was shooken. It was amazing. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Unfair. Life's not fair. I should know. My life has been unfair. Well, this is much easier. I couldn't care less about being hated by someone I despised. <laughs> Faye! He regenerated? Does that mean he copied on Ruin? I sick! Yay! So, thanks, Ruin. Possible he met the conditions? I perceive someone like him as an actual enemy? Well, yeah, because he, he fucking went in on you! He dragged your ass! That can't be! Oh, don't get full of yourself! Unfair! Don't get full of yourself! Unfair! Bitch, life's unfair! Deal with it! You a reject! You a reject! But hey! It's okay to be a reject. Go rearrange a reject. Oh, go rearrange a reject. That manga is fucking amazing, by the way. Oh, it's so underappreciated. I think I'm like the only person that covers it, too. Or one of the only people that cover it. God, it's so good. I hate Go Go Loser Ranger. That fucking name is stupid, Kadansha. You need to change it. Andy, Fuko, I'll handle him. You two head to the uh, head to Ark. I won't be able to completely restrain him since he uh, has the un um, ruin ability, but I can hold him off. There's a move. Oh, blasted on a move. Billy, or sorry, Billy. Sorry. Uh, sorry that I ended up linking ya. Let's go, Fuko. But. I want to, um, I'll stay behind too. I'm not laying this creep anywhere new, near Fuko. I'll make sure she gets to Ark in loops. Sound, uh, sound like a plan, Mr. Billy? Yeah. <laughs> but, Tatiana, that means that you... I know you're about to say something about how if I die, then all my efforts, uh, till now will go down the drain, yada yada. Yada, 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 but that's exactly why I need to get you to the next loop. But don't worry, even if my body changes or if I don't retain my memories, I'll still be me. Just find me and be my friend all over again. Come on, Pinky Swear, this is how you make a promise in your country, isn't it? If you tell a lie, you get a thousand needles in your eye, right? Aww. Okay, Aww. I, I promise. Fuko, uh, your emblem. Let's get going. Number nine, undead. Number ten, unluck. Open the gate. Let's go. Billy, Tatiana, see you around. Yep. Damn it, I'm not letting them go. I'm 
sorry for the things I've done. Which things? Huh? For calling me untouchable? For saying you wanted my ability? For telling me you'd betray us? For, well, yeah, that's all the all stuff I did, but... I'm... Oh, I wanted to make you happy! But all I managed to do is make you cry! Um... Maybe it would have been better if uh, we never met in the first place. That's not true! I only made it this far in life because you were so kind to me, Mr. Billy. Your kindness was always genuine, wasn't it? You want us to be friends. Besides, right now I'm as happy as could be. Because I'm with you and Fuko, um, and Fuko, two people who I love so much. Fighting and risking it all just to see each other again. Aww. Unruin shield, unruin shield, unruin shield, unruin shield. That's what it says there. Because I found a friend and a family member who allowed me this chance to do so. It's the best. But if you really want to make it all up to me, since you can't die because you, uh, you're you copying unruin right now, you could stay by my side until I die. Aww. After all, I cried a whole lot when you were gone. If you didn't do at least that much, it'd be unfair, right? Huh? You're right. Aww. Guess I should take a page out of their book. This takes me back. It reminds me of the first time you two came here. It's time to make a choice on dead on luck. Oh, God. Okay, so this choice is obviously going to be whether to loop or not. I'm still torn about this loop. I really am. Because... Here's the thing with this loop, because there's something similar, we got something similar going on in Eden Zero with, um, with time loops and shit. But the difference between this and, say, with Eden Zero, is with Eden Zero, it's a multiverse situation, where, um, where there, when, uh, I'm spoiling it, deal with it, you should be reading it. Uh, when Rebecca creates universes, or when she uses her time loop, or her leaper, excuse me, she creates universes every time she uses leaper, which I think is very fascinating. And um, and something else that we, we see is like, and we kind of get foreshadowing of when a universe is going to be created because uh, based on like what would happen in the future of that universe. Um, and it's very, very, very interesting because we kind of get hints of like uh, the consequences of, of using Leaper, which I think is very, very interesting. Um, so Mashima makes it work. And I don't want, that's why I don't mind um, Leaper as much. As long as it doesn't like, uh, as long as like certain um, deaths are um, not overturned um, when Leaper is used then I don't mind, because there's some really significant deaths in Eden Zero that I really don't want uh, overturned. But here, that's where I'm, like, kind of torn, because up until, like, um, I would say... Maybe the rip content, maybe? Like, there's been some really good deaths up in here, and I, like, how it was executed and shit, and I kind of don't want them overturned. I don't like how Rip's care like, all of Rip and Lotla's character arcs are gonna be overturned. Um, I don't like how Shen and Mui's character arc might be overturned because of this loop, because I really, really like their character arc. That's why I'm, uh, and I think it was Akira as well, I, uh, that I really like their character arc as well. And same with, and hell, I mean, look how far Chikara has come. I mean, will all that be, all that character development be overturned because of this loop? That's the thing, and I mean, look at Billy, look at Billy's character arc. I really don't want this to be all overturned because of this loop. That's the thing I'm concerned about. And I'll say this in regards to the, um, the Leaper in Eden Zero. 
Um, I'm going to use uh, the, which one do I want to use? The first sleeper, which was um, back with Drac and Joe. The one in, with Drac and Joe, that made complete sense. And the fights, how the fights changed in the Drac and Joe arc were definitely for the better. Um, and I really love seeing it. I love the fights um, uh, that we got the second time around. Uh, after, you know, basically after Leaper. I really enjoyed that. If if we're going to get, um, that's why I'm like, if you're going to do a loop, you got to do something really different and something really cool with it, especially like in terms of fights, especially in terms of character development. Because when, with the sec, uh, with the loop, with, uh, um, with Track and Joe, um, we got to get to know the star shines more. We got to see uh, their fights and we got to see like, um, we got to see more of Laguna and, um, and Jin and clean and got to know them more. And that's what that, uh, and that's why. I'm, and also with Drac and Joe himself, we got to know, we got to see his backstory. We got to um, get to see like him in relation to Weiss um, and then with Hermit, I think, was that the one before the loop? What was the Hermit content? No, after the loop, we got the, uh, was that before? No, that was before Track and Joe, or it was either, yeah, I think it was before Track and Joe we got the, um, no, it was after Track and Joe we got the Hermit content, because that content was fucking amazing. That's right. It took me a minute to remember that. But yeah, that that's my point. It's like after, um, after the loop, we got really good content. And then we, you know, after Dragon Joe was defeated, we got new friends along the way. We got Laguna, we got Jin, we got clean and they ended up joining. And that's what I mean by like, if you do a loop, like what we got with Eden zero, it's gotta be done right. You gotta make sure that um, there's character that the character development doesn't get erased that we get to see different sides of the characters and I I'm really scared that that is going to be taken away and undone in luck I'm really scared that it will I really like especially like for example as I said like with Chikara remember how we met Chikara I'm scared that's going to be taken away um, I'm scared that um, as I said previously I'm scared that like Rip and um and lot all of Rip and Lotless character arc is going to be taken away. Like, I really hope that I'm wrong. I'm really hope that the, Yoshifumi is going to execute this um, as good. I don't. I don't think it's going to be as good as what Mashima did in Eden Zero. I don't think it will be as good as Eden Zero. God, because that is Eden Zero is fucking amazing. But the other thing is, is that I want to see Victor. We haven't gotten enough Victor con uh, content. I want to see Victor. I want to see what is going down with Victor. Because Victor has some knowledge that we freaking need. If we do not get Victor up in this bitch, I'm going to be so pissed. I will be mad that that, that um, we're going to be left with that loophole. With, that, with those questions unanswered. I really hope Yoshifumi addresses that. But I'm very curious what you guys think. Are you guys concerned um, like I am in regards to this loop? And what do you guys want to see when we get, go back in, um, in this loop? And do you guys agree with me that there's that major concern with Victor? Like if we get that, if we get the Victor co content in this loop, I will not be mad at the loop as much. I will not if we get the Victor content and we get to see Victor's origins. If that, what we saw last chapter was a foreshadowing of Victor's origins, I will be very pleased. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Undead and Luck content. Many ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.